2020, the start of the coronavirus pandemic, we had no idea that more than two and a half years later, tens of millions of people would be affected by long COVID. And although there's no test for it, the CDC now officially recognizes it as an emerging condition and has released guidance for doctors to help treat patients. Tell your doctor about your symptoms like fatigue, brain fog, breathing issues, or stomach troubles. They may also refer you to a specialist. For example, if you have heart palpitations, they may suggest a cardiologist. All right, you're gonna to wanna to look for a long COVID clinic. There is no longer a dedicated clinic at Cone, but patients can still go to Cone Health Primary Care at Elmsley Square. Now, you also wanna check out support groups, Survivor Core, Body Politic, and Long COVID Alliance can help connect you with providers as well as people who are experiencing the same things that you are. Now, Two Wants to Know need you to pay special attention to this next piece of information. The diagnostic code for long COVID is U09.9. .9. When your provider uses this right here, insurance may be more likely to cover your costs. And don't we all want insurance to pay for the care and the meds that we need? For example, I looked up Aetna and it says providers should list U09.9 .9 for ongoing conditions like shortness of breath, fatigue, and many other things. This new coding for long COVID is a critical step, it says, for long-term patient care, as well as for tracking and researching purposes. Now, I think all too often we feel like talking about insurance or codes is just a waste of the doctor's time. But really, your doctor should want the best for you, and that includes making sure that the codes are correct so that you can get the best coverage and care. It is a whole lot easier to do it when you're there in the office versus after you've been billed and then you want something changed.